Hello. So, I did a video using um, this kit yesterday, and honestly, I'm going to have to say that I got such a large haul. I am overwhelmed with the stuff in this room. And right now, this is like the one thing. It was so nice making that card yesterday and simple. And this is kind of my one thing right now that doesn't feel like so much. So, I thought, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make another card with this kid. I'm going to do it a little bit different. And I figured I would pick one of the ephemera pieces and, you know, and all them little pieces falling out on me. One of the ephemera pieces, I love these Santas, but maybe, maybe this little angel girl is the way to go. Look at that Santa. Um, but I used a Santa yesterday. Here's some kids on the tobacco. Ugh. To uh, Toe bobbin. I'm thinking, I don't know. Here's another angel. Yeah. I'm going to use this little angel girl. And I'm going to get these back in there. And I'm going to decide. I also brought this frame set from the Wild at Heart to use to put her on. So I need a background that could work. Uh oh, a little candy cane. Um, let's take a quick look. That one has stripes on the back. This one has this. That could be very cute. So you could also use one of the toppers. And it would be a little bit bigger. Um, let's show you the difference in the size. Let's see. There's a big difference in the size, but I'm going to stick with that because the ephemera does need to be used also. Uh, just kind of going through the paper, seeing seen that one. Postcard. No. That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. That doesn't. That's gotta be. I mean, it's got the little The little thing, but see that bells. The bells could be right. I think I'm going to use this. And I know I had card blanks yesterday. What I don't know is. where I put them or what I did with them. Because I had reached in and grabbed them. Aha. 
and these are four by six and that gives you an idea of what we're taking this will fit I think I will use this one so I got the paper trimmer here and I'm just gonna go I guess I'll turn it this way. And I'll go to the four and I'm gonna go a little bit under. And that's gonna be pretty close to perfect. And six in that little bit under and there it is I think this paper trimmer is working out really good for me okay so I could trim this a little bit more and put um a solid, oh, let's say a green mat. And that color goes really good with that one. It's too good. So let's do that. Let me get the paper cutter back up here. And I'm going to do... The four. So the four. By six. Let's have a look. Okay, there's that. And then this would go on here. So let me trim this just, just the tiniest bit more. So from there to here, I think. Let's have a look. All right. And if a little bit of white shows so through, that's okay because this is here, right? So now what I want to do is use a piece of this to go and then yeah I used this do I want to use this and the green was what I was thinking um I gotta see what I gotta go to for her to fit. Okay. So, how will she look on the green? 
that's gonna matter. Okay. And then this is barely gonna be recognizable because we use this and I've got nothing. <laughs> I gotta get these little pieces out of here. It'll cut, but it won't be a good cut if I don't. Should keep it all pretty easy. So this, I'm going to do this paper in. And that is some pure white, white right there. Let me see which border I'm cutting. Okay, I'm okay with that. This to be some shorter border, but that's left over. So it won't be the 12 inch, but it'll be good for card making still. See? So now this has to go through the marquee and I need a folder for that which I should have right up here somewhere I was watching crafters TV and it showed Sarah had lost uh, she was doing a um, demo and she couldn't find one of her plates I don't know. That's how I craft. <laughs> Come on. I don't think it wants to take this folder. There we go. Mmm. And then I'm going to bring it back through just to make sure it didn't want to take the folder I think now that could be really cute inside frame if you have your square cut nice and neat but look at that I do like I do like the way that is that going to be too big well it's going to take up a lot of it I didn't want it to take up that much. Well, it's going to have to, I guess. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of this green. A smaller piece of the green. But it might have been too small. Yeah. Too small. So, I'm just going to cut this piece. Yeah, we're almost done with this. So. See, this folder is just, it's, that's at least I think that's what it is. Let me grab another folder. When it's not, Mm. It's so battered, maybe it is. I don't know. But let's see how it goes through. There we go. 
This marquee is like, what are you doing to me? Setting in plates that have been used, used, used. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get these pieces. This needs to go back. This needs to go back. This needs to go down, and these papers need to be out of the way, and we are ready to put it all together. So, I'm going to take my glue, and... Still, haven't put it in a fine bottle. I don't know. I don't think about it until I go to use it. And I am definitely going to have to get in this room and clean everything. Find a place for stuff. What it is, too, part of it I like to kind of keep new stuff that I want to try for my videos out and not completely put them away so so that it's right there and I remember and all that. Well, what am I going to do? I have a ton of stuff and I just can't do this. It's a shame it's going to cover up that bird, huh? I could put it in the corner. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it like that. That works for me. Make sure I got all the little pieces out. And... I'm not even going to worry about those edges. Oh, I thought I had this glued down already. Oh, oh that's the music notes. And I'm using the other side of it, and that ugh, eats me up. You might have to wiggle this a little bit and get it in place. So far, so good. Hold that down. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is... very heavy here just stick some stuff to hold that down I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna put her on here and you can see she overlaps a little bit and I'm not gonna worry about that so I'm going to let her stick up a little bit. It's very, very tiny bit amount. And then... I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to get, here, I used the foam on a row.
Okay. You know, you're not going to see me do a lot of this popping things up because really it, um, it's harder to mail. I do like to do like the decoupage and, and that stuff, but, um, they usually mail okay. So, but I'll put a little bit, but I won't put layers and layers of it if I need to put it in the mail. So now I'm just going to put the little angel on here. I love these papers and if it was just the papers I would have just bought a ton of it. But you're not paying for just the papers, right? Okay, and then we got the sentiments that came with it and I'm thinking happy and look how that ties in with this holidays happy oh holidays can come down a little bit and to the side happy holidays and I didn't have to cover up my bird why did I choose holiday because she's got a little angel outfit on so it either makes sense or it don't And the name is like Vintage Yuletide Craft Kit. So, no, I think I'm just going to put that over the top of it. Bring that border in a little bit. Don't always feel like you have to stick to this part. You can use your your mat. Okay. She's very cute. She's very cute. Um And now I want one of these rub-off sentiments. I'm going to do it's the most wonderful time of the year. Or joy to the world. Let's do the little joy to the world. Might be a little different idea for an inside of a card, but I kind of like that. If somebody would come out with a pad or up on sentiment, I would definitely buy it. There we go. We got it. Happy holidays. Joy to the world. 
beautiful. I love the papers. I do. So I made two cards. Where's the other one? I thought I stuck it over here. There it is. There we go. <laughs> it would have been, if I'd have stuck to my original and put this in the middle, like it probably would have been better, but I just couldn't bring myself to cover up the bird. So sometimes, you know, you just use the paper for your topper, you know, like I did with that one. All right, everybody. Um, if you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.